Candice says, I am confused on how you identify transformations that transform f of x to g of x. Okay, so a couple things. Let's just kind of, let's go through a couple things that I always like to review, all right? The first time we learn about transformations, we learn about transformations with the quadratic function. So whenever students are getting confused with transformations for any function, I always like to start with a quadratic. So let's go down memory lane of quadratics. So if I have f of x, we have a times x minus h quantity squared plus c, okay? So let's kind of remember what happens here. A vertically stretches or compresses the graph. Also, it changes the orientation. It reflects it about the x-axis. H is a horizontal shift, left or right, um, and C is a vertical shift, up or down. Now, it's once we start talking about radicals, we kind of get rid of, oh, why am I doing a C? That's a K, right? Is that what the next comment was? Yeah. K, sorry. And remember, the vertex was H comma K, all right? Now, once we start talking about transformations of radicals or of different functions, we actually add in some different letters but their position and how they impact the graph is exactly the same. And I'm not gonna get, I shouldn't call this f of x. Let's call this t of x. And then let's do this one, k of x. So let's look at a general function, our, the general transformations for a radical. So we have a, b, x minus c, plus d. Okay, now a couple things I want you to see some characteristics or some changes here. A is still a number, right? Because A, B, C, D, H, and K, they all represent numbers, okay? They represent constants. A is multiplied to the constant, or I'm sorry, A is being multiplied by what the, part, the function is, okay? So whenever you have a number that's being multiplied on the outside, that is either going to vertically stretch, compress, or reflect about the x-axis. So when I look at this first problem here, if you're saying from going to f of x to g of x, notice here, I'm adding in this negative, right? That's like a negative one on the outside. That's gonna be my a. So I can say my a in this case is equal to a negative one. Well, what does that tell me? That tells me to reflect the x-axis. All right, now let's go on the inside. Now here, we didn't talk about b. There is no b. And you could have a b, and in this case, but what that's going to do is that's going to have an impact just like A, where A was a vertical stretch or compression or a reflection about the x-axis. It's all what we call vertical transformations. B is going to horizontally stretch or compress the graph or reflect it about the y-axis. The reason why we don't usually bring up B in, in terms of a quadratic is because a um, the a hor or a negative b is because that's a reflection about the y-axis, which uh, a quadratic is an even function. So we know it's always going to be symmetrical. So it's not going to impact the graph. However, when we have a b, that is going to be a uh, reflection about the y-axis. So we could say b is equal to negative one, right? That's the number of multiplying by your x. So that's going to be reflect the y-axis. Sorry, I think I'm not sure if I misspoke or not. And then we need to determine two. Is two inside the function or is it outside the function? Look at the difference. H is inside the function because it's being squared. K is outside the function, right? C is inside the function. It's under the square root. And D is outside the function. Hopefully you recognize that minus two is outside the function. So therefore that's going to be a vertical shift up or down. And since it's a negative two, it's going to be down two units. So I can say my D is equal to negative two. And I can say shift down, shift down two. So that's how you apply it. Just make sure everything that's inside is what we call a horizontal transformation. Numbers that are on the outside are what we call vertical transformations. So that's the best way. If you get confused, kind of go back and remember a quadratic. A lot of times that can help students um, remember what the transformations are or if a number is um, inside or outside.